you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Hey YouTube, Vertical Stacker here. As the saying goes, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Well, similar to that saying, you never get a second chance to do a unboxing <laughs> of a really cool coin. I unboxed this and I had my video going and sure enough, I pull out the slip and it had my name and address and all that stuff on there and I'm not that great at editing so I just decided I'd redo it. Uh, not super exciting watching a box get opened anyway. Nevertheless here it is $250 denomination from New Way and the New Zealand Mint. It is the one ounce gold Boba Fett coin. I've been waiting for this. I've been very very excited to get this as part of my Star Wars collection and stack, and I am really pleased with the quality of this coin. This is the Star Wars Boba Fett coin. It's officially licensed coin. In fact, it has, if you look along the, the edge right here, you can see some writing. I'm gonna try to do this and see if I can make that work. I don't know if it'll really focus that well, but it says one ounce, four nines, fine gold. Copyright Lucasfilm Limited. So there's the licensure and copyright. So pretty amazing coin, great features, great artwork. Kind of a close up of Boba Fett, and it has the Imperial logo in the background, which is kind of funny because I don't think Boba Fett was truly an Imperial. He might have worked for them, but pretty sure he was an independent bounty hunter. Nevertheless, uh, he worked, obviously, for the bad guys, so to speak. I'm talking as though it's real. Bad guys, good guys, Star Wars, yeah. Anyway, uh, this is going to be a great addition to my Star Wars collection. I'm very, very excited to have it. Uh, you know, the obverse, of course, has Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, I think she shows up on an awful lot of coins. <laughs> it's a 32 millimeter coin. Uh, the mintage is limited to 1,000. So I've got one of 1,000 of these coins. And that's, you know, pretty cool in and of itself to know that it's a limited mintage coin and I was able to get one of them. I was a little disappointed when they first came out because when I went to the New Zealand Mint website, when I heard these were going to be minted, I learned that they were only going to be selling them to wholesalers and uh, I, I probably could have done the paperwork necessary to become a wholesaler but I you know opted to just pay a little more of a premium and uh, get it straight from Atmex so that's where I was able to obtain this coin from Atmex let's see if I can show you what I paid for it here it wasn't a super great deal by any stretch of the imagination, but I paid a pretty stout premium, 1900 bucks. Somebody's trying to get a hold of me. It always happens when I'm trying to do a video, somebody calls. Drives me nuts. Don't they understand? I've got a YouTube channel to run here. <laughs> Probably my client saying, if you don't take my call, I'm going to fire you. Anyway, so Boba Fett, really cool coin. Happy to have this, a four nines fine gold coin, which means it scratches if you look at it or breathe on it too heavy. <laughs> but the uh, country of issue is New Way and uh, $250 denomination. Super stoked. What do you think about this coin? I know many of you have the silver version of this, uh, as do I, but uh, the gold is just something to behold. Vertical Stacker, till next time.